Mm -hmm. He should have called EMS. Mm -hmm. He should have gotten this thing rolled the help that she needed. Right. All right. We are watching right now. You're looking at a compilation of just video. That is Darian Vince on your screen. And uh, we're looking at some aerial video from the, the multiple searches that happened for Malia Davis and uh, all over the, the Houston area and beyond. And now we have learned from Juan X that Malia Davis' body is actually in Arkansas. It was dumped by her quote-unquote stepfather. Um, you know, off the side of the road there. Right. We don't have a specific That's location in Arkansas. Investigators not revealing that, obviously. They don't want to jeopardize this investigation um, in any way as far as recovering her body is concerned. They've alerted local authorities uh, in Arkansas as to, to what's going on, and uh, oh, they are all getting on a plane as soon as it's possible so uh, to go recover her body and bring her back home to Houston. Um, a lot of people asking about Brittany now. Bowens, who is Malia so Davis's mother, um, and wondering, Later. you know, what's going okay. to happen next with her. I mean, just to be clear, Brittany Bowens has not been charged uh, with anything. Um, she is not facing any charges right now. But, of course, this is a developing situation, and right. hopefully with the recovery of Malia's body soon, this will all change. Well, and, and the belief is that she was out of town when this happened, attending the family funeral. And I was waiting for the opportunity and to be the one to, the only to come out with it. The way I, I can see that. she would be in legal jeopardy is if she has known something all along here, and they can and prove that. Right, right. And she and hasn't he, revealed it to investigators. Come out accessory with after the fact, right? I'm not an attorney, but not, that would be a crime if they chose to Cornell charge her with that. If, that if she knew anything, and Quanell X seems to think means, she did and know, does, like knew um, some of but we don't know that for sure. He just That's the reason he said he stopped working you know, with her, is he didn't feel she was being truthful about everything um, right. she knew. He did, he did also say that he doesn't believe that she was involved in what initially happened, so but that she wasn't revealing everything she found out after the fact. Absolutely. And that's, I'm sure, for for detectives now to figure out if if Darian Vince has revealed the body's location, that. maybe now he'll be more forthcoming with with everything else. So April Nooner on our Facebook page. Hey, thanks for weighing in, guys. We we really appreciate your comments. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to your questions and and answer them as best as possible with what we know about the investigation. So April Nooner is saying, are they married? Why do they keep I'm saying stepfather? Now. I thought he was just they a boyfriend. That is annoying me. So that is they something that we that have actually like um, had long discussions, um, editorial discussions in our newsroom about, Jack you know, what do we call him? So you know, family, funny, family members of Malia Davis, um, everyone <laughs> kept referring to him as the stepfather. And then yeah. when we looked into court records, we realized that Darion Vance mm -hmm. and Brittany Bowens were not in Indeed, married, um, and that Brittany good, Bowens um, said that they had been engaged, but she had broken off their engagement. So, uh, you know, by legal standards, no, oh, um, he, he he's not her, her stepfather. But he since that is how the, in the car. family was referring That's to him, happened. that is Remember, he had the shirt on his arm. So legally, no, not the a stepfather. But the family did call her So that means uh, he went there with the intentions of taking him. And it may be one of those situations where they were together for so long, maybe not married, but together for so long that it was a common law situation. And he's been around those kids so long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Put the new shirt on. Maybe most or all of her life that they just called him so all step, step stepdad. Maybe. Yeah, stepdad. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. But you're right. There is hardly to tell not married. They're all of that, st all that stuff going to be in a location. Well, thank watch. you again all that, for shirt, commenting. Um, and he didn't burn her. He burned the clothes. Breaking the news that came out in the last what half hour of us um, about a half hour mm. ago. Right. Right, right, before noon. right before noon, Quan mm. LX and uh, Tim Miller with Equisearch um, came together in a in a parking lot, um, just yeah. you know, a strip center near Westridge and South Main. This was just west of NRG Stadium. The significance of that location, there is no significance um, to yeah. that location. It's just kind of where they called reporters mm -hmm. um, to gather to, to mention this. But Quan yeah. LX revealing that he had a very long conversation with Darian Vance in the jail whole, take the this shirt morning, and, go through that and that it was it during this conversation a few hours ago that. that he was able to get now. from Darian uh, that Malia Davis was one dead to come and out. two that yeah. Darian had admitted had to, to out. And uh, his way out, tossing he her body onto the side of the road somewhere in Arkansas. And that's why the uh, scratches were mostly all superficial, too. Apparently the uh, so they specific just location as to where her body is, he would reveal that to reporters. Uh, but Quanell said 
after the conversation, he yeah. he took a look to see, you and know, just if, if the distance um, to what like, Darren Vitz uh, was saying and the timing and everything added places, up, and it very much did. Triples, it seemed very accurate. And, uh, so it sounds like authorities like are going to be shit. working on this tip that they were just given, and they're now heading to Arkansas uh, to get more information and hopefully recover Dang, Malia's body. Yeah, 3 so o'clock today, they'll be boarding a plane from Sharon, and you have to figure that out. We don't know where the states are heading, so it could be... You know, an hour and a half mm -hmm. flight, it could be three hours, map? and we don't know where exactly they're going. Mm -hmm. We don't know Darion Vince's connection to Arkansas, if there even is one. A lot of people have been yeah, asking online today, why, why to drive Arkansas to Arkansas in, in under to a half a dump day. a body along the side of a road? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make yeah, a lot of that, sense. We can I mean, make that there's a lot of country time. between here and there. And yet, that's what he said he did. So, that'll be one of the questions we'll be asking detectives when they're ready to talk to us about all this. It was interesting to me that we heard from That's the day, Equisearch yeah. and Quanell. I'm telling you, he had to wait on them both. He had to wait on the word of what, who, what, 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 you have to drive through Arkansas to get to St. Louis, and um, maybe he's done that. Maybe he, he was many doing times, that yeah. drive, yeah, and so that yeah. could be the connection. I don't believe in our reporting and in, in our investigations that we have found any I'm connection so with Darian Vance having any connections oh, in Arkansas so specifically. But he is originally from St. Louis, and you got to drive through Arkansas if you're going from Houston to get to St. Louis. Uh, so. It could just be in a random, her body yeah. could be in any any spot through there because you would drive right through the state. I wonder, um, yeah, Kelly, I wonder, Kelly Bohm was just asking uh, why haven't they contacted Arkansas authorities? She doesn't do need to be like they by the side of the road any longer than she, and, than she has um, been already. And the events, they, they have. have They've already contacted the, the you know Houston I mean? law enforcement, already contacted Arkansas. Like they had and been and in Texas, wherever they believe that body is, and given in the location, and we can just assume that they are out there protecting that crime scene and that little girl at this point so no they're not waiting till they get there to go see if okay, this is accurate in information it. they may know already that that body is there because they've sent Arkansas law enforcement to, to that to scene Arkansas, someone else asked he, he did some how quickly baby. can you get that's, to Arkansas yeah, uh, by driving. car we, we checked that out and uh, the state line is about five hours okay. roughly give or take from the Houston area but again if it's deeper into the state of what Arkansas, it could be a lot longer um, than that um, to drive there, but they're flying, so uh, they will be there uh, like rather quickly wherever they're headed. The Texarkana, we figure, is about five hours. That would be the state line between Texas and Arkansas. Again, we don't know specifically where her body is in, in Arkansas, Arkansas, so that information hopefully in the next couple, this, couple of hours will be coming down to us. Um, investigators want to get there first. Uh, I know everyone is wondering on our Facebook page, like you said, Russ, why aren't investigators talking about this? Why is Quan LX and Tim right. talking about this? Well, they're on their way. Uh, they're heading up there to yeah, recover her body. They have alerted um, authorities up there. They need to, um, you know, to, to walk off the scene. They need to collect their evidence, um, and they need to bring Malia Davis back to Houston. But we believe detectives right, so were you know you there in that parking lot you know where the press you know. conference took place. Mm -hmm. Meeting with Quanell yeah, and Tim dead. Miller prior he's to dead. their impromptu, you know, talk I with the reporters. Yeah. Yeah. Detectives did not go on camera. No. But and and again, that may just be because they they don't want to go on the record yet with any of this until they have been able to check it out. Mm -hmm. Quanell is uh, and Tim Miller are free to do whatever they want. Yeah, They're private yeah, citizens, yeah. but but detectives didn't want to maybe go that far until then, they know that this is accurate. Uh, information. So, uh, some people are asking, where is the biological father in all of this? I've seen that scroll by here several times. He was not involved yeah. in Malia yeah. Davis's yeah. life. Yeah. Everything yeah. that we've looked yeah. into. Yeah. I mean, he has yeah. he has yeah. spoken yeah. Uh, since yeah. her disappearance. Yeah. But yeah. from yeah. all accounts, yeah. through yeah. the family, yeah. uh, Malia Davis's yeah. biological yeah. father was not involved yeah. in her yeah. life. But he is around, right? He is around. He is local. He is around. It was our understanding through her family that he was not present in her life. It sounds like yeah. Darion Vence was more was more of a present in her life as a as a figure, father figure, than her biological father. 
Uh, someone, someone's asking here, and it, this person may be just joining us uh, on one of our digital platforms, but someone was asking here, just scroll by, um, how did Quan El get to Darion Vance? He, he, well, he, he went, yeah. he, you're a lot of visitors in jail, and he went to go uh, speak with him in jail, and that's that's what happened. And Quan El would not give any details about what he said to to get Darion to reveal this information. All he said was, quote, two men talking, mm -hmm. is as far as he would go with with what actually took place there inside the jail. But, you know, was it just yesterday that, exactly. that Quanell or two days ago, he said that he was no longer going to work with, with the mom, Brittany Bowens, okay. and they, immediately they he have, then starts focusing on the stepfather and, and that, goes to jail and gets this information what and immediately hands it over to police. I want, I want to see that and off we go that. here now with we now, what was done hopefully, where, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? This a part conclusion to this, this is the most important this missing however, child case that Malia Davis can be brought home. Yeah, just an, yeah, just an awful awful case. Yeah, um, and, it, it's so hard when, she you know, when a lot of people happened. comment and you see these and pictures of this sleep little girl. Already got his um, and she lived, the, real, she lived a tough life. Say um, there were allegations of abuse. Um, she's ha had to undergo brain surgery. Um, at just four years old, she has, oh, has been through a lot. Uh, and now we're being told that she is dead. And was body was tossed on the it's side of the road. It's been three weeks. Um, this, no one, this is the biggest know, piece. It's nothing parents else to not, No one it's likes to hear um, stories this, like this. And this is all very sad. But again, hoping for some closure in, in hopes that they, they recover well, her body and bring her back Although home. Quinnell you know, you were mentioning Brittany Bowen, her mother, and the fact that Quanell was working with her and then decided about two days ago not to said he was no longer going to represent her. Uh, it was interesting because Quanell, when he told KHOU in subsequent interviews, he said, look, I within two days of, of meeting Brittany and talking to her, I realized that yeah. she knew more than she wasn't telling me and she wasn't being very forthcoming and I had questions about her uh, you know what, what sort of role she played in all yeah, of this man, and but he said I, he stuck it out a little longer to get some information um, and it, have, it could be that have, he got the information that he needed so uh, then he said look I'm, I'm not going to like represent it, you anymore and then uh, that we said to go to Darren um, he might have you know, been Jail cell this he morning to get okay this too. information. Well, Quan even went a little, a little further than that, mm -hmm. didn't he? Mm -hmm. If you remember, he said about Brittany Bowens, he said he was when close. they were talking privately, yeah. away from us, away from the TV like cameras an and everybody sense, else, like a bait. that she was you know I mean? calm, the good guy, good cool, not bad. direct. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Very in charge and, and you know in control of herself. He said the only family. time she would break down start crying, mm. and it was when the cameras were on her, or when she was in public. Mm. That was that was what yeah, Quanell said about girl, you about know, Brittany Bowens. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm assuming and, um, what he was saying is that thank you. you know that's what made him you even more suspicious that she wasn't being ability. completely forthcoming. Mm -hmm. Was okay, because girl. she she never that's seemed that upset idea. when they were together until the mm -hmm. TV cameras were there, and not trying to say the cast of Spurs, just what he said mm -hmm. and he had contact with her behind the scenes and in front of the cameras and that was his assessment of her behavior mm -hmm. um, and and maybe one of the reasons he decided that he didn't want to uh, work with her anymore that she knew more than, than he was able to uh, to find out absolutely if you are just joining us um, it is 12 44 now and we are doing this uh, this live broadcast over our, our social media platforms um, because we're talking about a, a bombshell revelation in this case that uh, Quanell X has, has said that the uh, quote-unquote stepfather of Malia Davis has revealed the location of Malia's body, saying that he dumped her body on the side of a road in Arkansas. This is the break in the case that investigators have been looking for for a month now. Malia Davis has been missing for a month. That is the last time someone saw her alive. So this is a huge break in this case. And also, so many of you have pointed out that this confirms that she is indeed dead. So many people were, have had this hope that perhaps she would be found alive. Uh, but as the days and weeks went on, um, that hope was dwindling. And, and now we...